All right, let's go. We're going to look at some Tacomas right now. Uh, we got a Ford Ranger right here. This is the opposite of a Tacoma. I don't know why anybody would buy that. And speaking of I don't know why, is what does that vanity or custom license plate mean? Nienber? Does anybody have an idea what that means? What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, one of our loyal subscribers actually wrote me the other day on our Instagram page, and he said, hey, there's a truck down at the local Toyota dealership that my wife and I went and spent like 45 minutes climbing all around it. We absolutely love it, but I know that you can see things that other people can't see. So I'm down here checking it out. This is the truck. He specifically wants this configuration with the long bed. It's a nice truck. We're gonna check that thing out in a second. That's right, 14 days since we've been at the Toyota dealership and they have a ton of new vehicles. I would venture to say they probably have at least 10, 12, 14 Tacomas that were not here two weeks ago. So we got some cool trucks to look at. And let's check this thing out real quick. So we got a 21 Tacoma SR5 V6 with 63,000 miles for 36,995. 36,995. I would say that's about $6,000 less than this truck was brand new. And, uh, and just coming around on the passenger side and looking into this bed, I don't like it. No, sir, I don't like it. So one thing that I don't like is I don't like the rust on those bolts and I don't like how much this bed's been used. And I'll explain why. I know there's people out there right now saying, hey, it's a Tacoma, it's a truck, you gotta be kidding me. And I'm gonna explain why for $36,995, this is no good. But wait, there's more. Now, I don't know if it's coming through on camera, but we have a massive, massive, large, excessively large dent on the roof right here. This dent starts from about right here and goes all the way to the other side. That is a huge roof dent. Matter of fact, I'm surprised they're putting this out on a lot with a straight face for $36,995. So we got some excessive bed wear, a big dent on the roof. You can see right here at the beginning of the bed, we got a nice little dent. All right, but one of the biggest dead giveaways of Mall is it has new tires, but they're a Geo Drive. That's right, not a Geo Lander, a Geo Drive. Just to be picky, and this is a personal preference, this contraption on the front right here is called a bull bar. A bull bar, and it does absolutely nothing for you. As a matter of fact, from this angle right here to see that huge gap, that is just gross. So all this thing is gonna do is it's gonna mess with the functionality of your airbag, absolutely look like crap. The mounting points are so weak that I, it's not like it's gonna be a push bar. You know, if you tried to push on the thing, uh, it's just gonna snap those off right here. All right, so I hate to say it, John, but this is gonna be a huge pass right here. Uh, we got blemishes all over the paint, the big dent in the roof, the bed looks like absolute crap. Uh, this thing has not lived a pampered life, uh, which is totally fine. Again, it's a truck, it's a Tacoma. These things can take a beating, but for 36,995, I would expect more. And let me explain to you why. Now, I know you wanted the regular bed, and like this one right here has a, uh, has a short bed, so 23, with 15,000 miles for 42,995. So this is only $6,000 more than that one. 6,000, but instead of 63,000 miles, you're only at 15. There are no roof dents. The uh, bed looks really nice. Let's continue on, but I like that one uh, a lot more. That's gonna be a rear wheel drive. Ooh, this one you get some BFG all terrains. Nice, that's cool. All right, 22 for 34, and let's just check these beds. Wait a minute, Toyota of Milpitas. Aha, uh -huh. they are doing dealer trades. This one also has a roof dent in the exact same spot. You know what, people are like loading up lumber and they're not doing a good job. Come on everybody, throw a little towel underneath it before you strap it down. Yeah, solid roof dent right there. I don't want any dents at all. None, absolutely none. Now we're having a hard time finding the regular beds. Another 23, 8,300 miles, four wheel drive for 43,995. Now that's what I'm talking about. Look at those bolts, bolts are flawless, bed looks great, no roof dents. You know, every time I come look at these trucks, I find like a new thing that is haunting the, uh, a bunch of them. And normally it's the, the hood gap, uh, but today it is roof dents, I guess. So here we go, here we go. We got our long bed, regular bed, whatever you want to call it, not the short bed. 
21 45,000 miles for 38,995. So this is twice. I'm going to say twice the value of that red truck over there. First off, because the color, the color, absolutely perfect. Let's make sure it doesn't have any roof dents, which it does not. It has these roof racks that are a factory uh, accessory. You just don't see them very often, but all right, we got ourselves a bed mat that uh, has a super nice bed underneath. Now that's concerning. This truck is a 21. I don't understand how the rust starts to settle in so quickly. It's wild. This truck is the way to go over the red one over there. It doesn't have little scratches and blemishes all over it. It doesn't have the roof dent. The color's fantastic. Um, this is gonna be our value of the day right here. Four wheel drive, of course. And then we got this one, a 17 with 74,000 miles. And you'll start to notice that the roof the paint is just fading right off for 30,000, probably like 35 out the door. What's up with that? Is that factory? And one of our other favorites, favorites on the lot. And this is actually, it's a regular bed. All right, so a 21 with 40,000 miles for 42. This is again, again, this is 10 times better of a truck than, than that red one over there. I just did not get a good feeling from that truck. You could tell that there was zero pride of ownership. Bed looks fantastic. No roof dents. Yeah, super nice. I, I love this green color. I know some people like it. Some people don't like it, but beautiful color. Has the sunroof. There is not one ding. Ooh, it was four wheel drive. A 22. Man, we have so many Tacomas on a lot. We got a 22, 48,000 miles for 37,995. No roof dent. Bed looks great. These are some really, really nice trucks they have here. Why would that Sirius sticker be right there? That's not where that goes. Now, if I was here buying a truck, I would probably skip one of these 48, 50,000 mile used ones and get one of these like the 10,000 mile ones. It's gonna take you a while to get up to 48. All right, and this is gonna be visually our favorite truck on the lot. You guys know I'm a sucker for a lift, a leveling kit, whatever you wanna call it. This thing sticks out in a good way. Let's check the lift. Is it a cheap spacer? No, it is not. It is not. It is a replacement coil over. Uh, we got some 265, 7017s, Toyo Open Country MTs. These are some expensive tires. Some Icon wheels. I am picky about wheels, but I like those wheels. I think the wheel and tire combo looks fantastic. So about a two, two and a half inch lift. Uh, some like 32, 11 fives. You will notice the fog lights are missing. So it is, it is a cheaper model, but uh, just looking down the side, it is super clean. And this is what I'm talking about, you guys, with these bolts right here. How was that other one? The bolts were like just rusted and gross. This is what I would like to see, not the animal excrement, but this is what I would like to see is some really clean bolts like this. And the other bed bolts too are just really, really clean. I really like this truck and you can't go wrong with the magnetic gray metallic. I mean, yeah, there's other cool colors out there. The, the army green and all that would be kind of nice, but all right, so a 23 with 9,400 miles, four wheel drive, of course, for 39,995. You know what, this, unfortunately it's a short bed, John, or else I'd make you come buy this one, but this is where it's at. Remember last time we were here two weeks ago, they had three forerunners, I believe a lunar mist and a limited edition of some sort. And uh, those are gone and I'm not surprised at all. So look at this, Icon wheels. These are the same wheels on that other Tacoma over there, but this one has some Nexon Rodian ATX. These tires are trash. Got two more Tacomas to check out. And uh, look at this one, the Steel Wheel Special. That is a look right there. Dude, these steel wheels are indestructible. And that is why some people run them a solid steel wheel. Um, they're a small enough wheel where they, they still balance uh, pretty good, but this is a very cool truck. And I haven't even looked at the numbers yet. And just seeing the steel wheels, it has a really old school classic feel to it. If I like the numbers, then this is gonna be a solid purchase right here also. Uh, 23 Tacoma SR, four wheel drive with 26,000 miles for 32,000. So basically this truck is 32,995. I really like it. We got some Falcon Wild Peak ATs, good tires. 
I'm just looking down the side. It is clean as can be. I'm absolutely loving these access cabs. You know, I have two daughters, and so for a long time, the only thing I could do was do like four doors or SUVs. As they're getting a little older, I, I could see myself getting into an access cab again. Just a nice short cab. You get the longer bed without having a super long truck. What a beautiful unit. The untarnished bolts. You know, this truck is not going to be for everybody. Oh, that is gorgeous. You know, one thing that would be cool to do if you had one of these trucks would be to swap out the headlights for the factory, the OEMs, the ones with the LEDs. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm talking about these headlights right here. This is the only used truck on the entire lot that has the upgraded LED headlights. Those are sick. Wow. Yeah, if I had any Tacoma that didn't have those, I would immediately, you know what's unfortunate though? Is I'm seeing this terrible gap right here. Why? Why Toyota? Why do some of them have bad gaps and others don't? Anyways, as far as this video goes, John, I'm happy we made our way over to the dealership uh, to go look at that Tacoma, the red one, but go ahead and avoid that thing. Um, in the future, just look for roof dents, uh, look at the condition of the bed. Um, again, if you're getting a good deal and it's a highly used truck for like a lower price, then yeah, I, mean, I would expect the bed to be kind of hacked up, but for almost 40, 45,000 bucks, no way you deserve better. And look at, if those bolts are super tarnished and rusty in the bed, then they're gonna be tarnished and rusty underneath. And there's plenty of trucks that are in super good condition. So John, get one of the gray trucks or that army green one. There are tons of different options. You got plenty of choices at the dealership right now. For everybody else, uh, those are some things you wanna look for, just some basics when you're uh, shopping at dealerships. I actually had a friend buy a vehicle from a dealership for top dollar a couple years ago. And when he came over to my house to check it out, I pointed out that four windows on the vehicle had been replaced. They were not factory windows. That means four windows were smashed out on that truck at some point. That sounds a little sketch for me. He did not notice that and the dealership sold it as a certified used vehicle. So avoid the dealership scams. Anyways, you guys, if you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. Everybody drop a big old thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.